Good Saturday morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Real McNeils. Thanks for coming to watch our video today. I am headed to Costco. If you watch, I had a superstore haul that was planning out two weeks worth of meals. Now we're kind of almost a week later and I still haven't done Costco. So today is the day. Clancy and I wanted to go together, but it's actually better if just one person goes at this point just due to the infection state that our province is in. So I am off to get a list full of veggies and all sorts of delicious things. So come along with me and see what I pick up. It is way busier here than I had hoped for. Lots and lots of people today. First things first is Brazil nuts. They actually have duct tape on sale and we're out. Kids use it for crafts and stuff like that. So it's $7.99, which is a good price for duct tape. I just noticed that they have a keto bread, so I'm gonna check it out for Bailey. You guys ever eaten this before? It says that it only has eight grams of carbs, but I'm gonna find out how many slices. First slice. I don't know how much better that is. I'm gonna have to compare it to another bag of bread. So it is a lot better because regular bread is actually 26 grams of carbs, and this guy is only eight. So I'm trying to decide if it's something that she could eat or not. I'm not sure about the oxalate side of it. I'm not sure. Tortillas for the kids for lunches. I am going to go with it, see if she likes it and see what she thinks. I am Googling to see if sesame seeds are high in oxalate. And Costco is notoriously bad for internet, so I can't get any coverage in here. So it might take a while for that to come through so I know whether or not to get Some bananas. Peppers some avocados and cucumbers, which are still really expensive, so they're still a treat at our house. Some pansy apples, sweet potatoes, some onions, big old bag. While I'm over here, I might as well grab some bacon because it's on sale. At least the kids can enjoy it. It is berserk in here. It's like Christmas shopping. It's insane. I'm gonna grab two jugs of milk. Maybe I should do three, I don't know. I need fresh veggies and the lineup is about 15 people long because there's only six people allowed in the cooler at a time. I didn't see it this bad at Christmas time. It's really insane. So I did grab avocados because they're a lot cheaper again and they're actually really big. I grabbed our big thing of eggs. I grabbed half and half for coffee. We got almond milk because it's on sale. The large Ziploc freezer bags are on sale, so I grabbed those too. And Coco loves these and will pretty much do backflips for them. I'm sure she would if she could, so I'm grabbing another bag of those because they're still on sale. Looks like the lineup is a lot better now. I'm grabbing some zucchini, some cauliflower, carrots, celery. And this week, I'm gonna go with mini bella mushrooms. Tossing some limes in there too. Just grabbed a packet of zucchini and butternut squash noodles to finish off the sauce that I made last night. I made a mushroom tomato sauce for Clancy and I. And it was delicious, but we tried chickpea lentil noodles and they were disgusting, so disgusting. Interesting fact about these zoodles is that you couldn't get them for a while because of COVID, because there was too much touching of the product. Clancy came to buy some and he couldn't find them anywhere. He went to four different stores. We've got, we've got Activia yogurt for the kids for breakfast and we need berries. Start with blueberries. Then strawberries. We do buy the three berry blend, but the blackberries tend to taste like dirt. 
not my favorite flavor in my smoothies. It works okay in a smoothie, but you can't use them just thawed out like on oatmeal or anything. I don't find that it works very well. Frozen broccoli and two salted butters. Our butter consumption has gone down considerably since we're done the holidays and Clancy and I aren't using it. But we are just about out again. These cheese pizzas will be tonight's supper for the kids, just a little treat. If you watch my Superstore vlog, you'll see that I bought pepperoni. So we'll just load those up with pepperoni and throw them in the oven for the kids for a quick and easy supper. I was going to grab Bailey some salmon, but you know what, I'm going to grab her shrimp because they cook up way faster. And I missed a couple things in the veggie department, so I'm back here finding them. I needed to grab edamame and a big old bag of stir fry mix. The veggie straws are on sale and the girls love them and they're a little bit healthier option for school snacks so I'm gonna grab those along with the cake pasta tortilla chips for taco night at the McNeil house. It is so busy in here that it is definitely stress testing my vlogging skills so if I seem out of breath or anything it is because of that. I honestly have not been in here with it this busy even at Christmas time. I grabbed a box of Honey Nut Cheerios because they're on sale right now. It's actually quiet right here. I'm right beside the ticket center. So there were a few people that we did HelloFresh gift cards for. So it's like $80 for $100 worth of HelloFresh food. And we did that for a couple of people for Christmas this year. We're picking up a couple of more actually as a favor to someone else. Somebody sweet sent money for us to buy them as a gift for somebody else and so I'm doing that today. We've heard nothing but great things about HelloFresh. I'd love to try it but our family is way too big. It would cost us so much money to try it but in our family group chat everybody has been sending pictures of their meals and telling us how delicious they are and how convenient they are. It sounds like a fantastic thing and I would love to try it. So this is in no way sponsored by HelloFresh at all, but hey, if they want to sponsor, the email address is down below. I'm almost done, down to the last two things on the list. And I am glad, I will be super glad to get out of here. Another school lunch essential. We can't resist buying goldfish when they're on sale. This is a favorite jam at our house and it's on sale, so I'm gonna grab that. Costco used to carry spouted spelt flour, but I can't find it. Trying to decide if I should get these or not. I'm gonna go and hunt down that spelt flour and see if they still have it. I've been snacking on walnuts a lot, a lot the last couple of days, so I'm gonna grab a big bag. Tuna is on sale for $12.99. I have to decide whether or not I'm going to get it. We usually use the darker tuna, not the light tuna. We switched years ago because it was so much cheaper. We do still have farro, which I've been wanting to try, and us eating healthy has given us the excuse to grab it. It's not on sale, that's okay. So I've gotta go check out this tuna. I decided not to get the almond crackers. I think I'm just going to keep making different things with spelt flour. I cannot find the sprouted spelt flour anywhere here, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. And when the Hellman's mayo is on sale, you grab, whoops, you should grab two of them. One and two. And Clancy wanted me to grab chickpeas. So here's a big old case of chickpeas, although I am making some of my own. We're just out of dried ones. So that's it for my list. The lineups have gone down considerably. It's not as busy in here as it was before, thankfully. That was really intense. <laughs> but I vlogged through it, you guys. I did it. Seriously, it's just lineups and people today. Wonder why it's so busy. And now it's time to take all of this, bag it up. Didn't lose anything on the way out to the truck for a change. I'm gonna put it all in my Price Mart bags, my good old Panama bags. All packed up and ready to head home.
decide to do a good deed, <laughs> I took back three of the four cars that were beside the truck. And the front one took off on me. Apparently, I won't become a cart pusher. It took off and there was a girl walking and I thought I was going to nail her. So I'm shouting, but she couldn't hear me over the noise of the cart coming towards her or my carts. Thankfully, I missed her. I didn't hit her. So the total of my Costco haul comes to, I feel like there should be a drum roll here, guys, $549.86. That is my Costco haul for today. <laughs> I am so sweaty. I was really cold this morning and it was cool outside, so I put on a long sleeve shirt. I put on a hoodie and then I put on a scarf and a down jacket with an outer layer and I am roasting, especially after pushing the cart through and then going and bagging everything up afterwards. So, if you like Costco vlogs, go and check out our playlist. There are a bunch of Costco vlogs in there. If you like the hauls, there's also a few other grocery store ones in there. Thank you so much for joining us today. We really appreciate you watching and we hope you have an awesome day. We'll see you soon.